everyone, welcome to new updates of Odoo 18. In today's video, we will look into the revamp in road and we're gonna discuss about the MTO. So we can just manage the MTO from the inventory module and it comes under the road so that you can just move on to the configuration settings and we just need to enable the multi-step routes as we just want to manage with the route. So you can see multi-step routes under the warehouses and here you can see we have just enabled that and we can set and track the routes that we are just using. So as we just enable this feature, you can manage the routes from the configuration menu and here you can see that the routes are over here. I'll be managing the MTO and uh, you can just search for the MTO here and you can see that we can just manage the MTO and you would be able to find the different rules that is associated with this route. So I'll be choosing the route full frame here and uh, here from this we can conclude that whenever the products are needed in the customer location a delivery order would be created from the warehouse in order to fulfill the needs. And if the product is not available we have to trigger another rule and uh, i'll be just dealing this mto for a product so for that you can just move on to the products and choose a particular product here you can find the product as cable management box and under the inventory you can see that we can set the routes and i'll be choosing buy and replenish on order as a route now i'm gonna make an order for 100 quantity of cable management box so let's type into the sales module to make the order where you can just click on new in order to create a quotation from the scratch. Here you can just choose the customer. My customer is ha Ahmed and uh, you can just fill out the details of the product. So here I'll be choosing the product cable management box with 100 quantity. In this case we know that we have only 90 as the on hand quantity. And uh, here you can see you can save this and confirm the order. So the change in MTO of Udo 18 inventory is that uh, before confirming the order, we also just need to ensure that we have set the proper vendor. So let's move on to the yeah uh, product and under the purchase tab, we have to designate a vendor over here. Since we haven't designated a vendor, we just got an error message over there. So here you can see the vendor is Abigail Peterson. You can also set the quantity as well as price. So I'll be setting the price of the product over here as 200 USD. And I'm not setting any particular quantity. So let me save that. Later on, we can just confirm the order. Now you can see that we can just confirm the sale order. And uh, here you can see uh, we cannot just deliver the item to the customer as we don't have the sufficient quantity. So the demanded quantity is 100 and uh, uh, you can see that a purchase order will be triggered. So as you just move on to the purchase tab here you can see that we have a less stock of 10 quantity. So only for the less quantity the purchase order will be generated. In previous version of Odoo which means in Odoo 17 we know that uh, uh, when we just made uh, an MTO uh, the purchase order will be created for all the quantity that is demanded but in Odoo 18 the change is that it will only trigger the purchase order for the item that is not sufficient or uh, the demand for the demanded quantity now you can just receive the item so in order to receive the item you can just click on uh, yeah receive product and uh, you can uh, see we are only demanding for the item that is insufficient. Now you can just click on validate button. So before validating this we just need to uh, set the lottery serial number. So I just need to enable that field over here and I'll be setting the load number over here. So uh, we just need to create a load number. So in order to create a load number, either you can just use the existing one or you can just create a one. So I just want to create a new one. So here you can see that I'm going to create a new load number over here. And let me uh, save that. Afterwards, let's save this and let's click on validate so that the load number will be load number or serial number will be assigned over here. Okay, currently we have... Uh, 100 quantity uh, in our stock so uh, now we can just deliver the item into uh, to the customer so for that you can just move on to the uh, delivery tabs and uh, we can just deliver the item to the customer 
currently you can see we have the sufficient quantity and you can just click on validate button and you can just make the delivery of the item to the customer so this is the revamp in the mto and that's all for today thank you for watching the video